Alrighty. I hope to God this isn't too, um, you don't hear the music too much. And I'm also actually doing a double recording. I'm about to pop on the camcorder. All right. So I'm just going to say this right off the bat. Um, I'm about to do the attack on Kielce. I've done a huge, well, like I said, I'm just going to move the camera here. Hold on here. I think I've done a ton of, um, God, I'm sorry if, uh, Either video uh, knocks out the, um, is too loud with the music. I'm really sorry. Um, that being said, because I, I kind of just need to hear it, but I've got my headphones on uh, recharging. All right, I've done a ton of moves, and I think you can see it on both things. I can, oh, maybe that's one way of doing it. I can have some kind of weirdo simultaneous thing. Alluding to what uh, Telemachus was talking about, uh, and he was like, have you taken a look at the transcript thing? I was like, hmm, maybe I should start doing that. First off, I hope to God I don't touch anything. Okay, I haven't put the counters down here for Kielce because um, I'm just going to say this. I've made a ton of moves. I'll talk about it later. Um, I've shifted. We've got 20. Uh, the Germans have 20 strength points sitting here from the, uh, the Vorsch or Warsh army here, uh, army direct. Um and it's going to be fully supplied. I've already reduced the, the five um, supply points needed. Uh, whoever the Russians are in here are, and I'm going to read out the rules again because I'm going to make sure, but I'm pretty darn sure I've got this correctly, is that because it's a urban center, as you can see that big black thing in the middle, um, the whoever's in here do not have to retreat unless it's kind of like a trench in a weird way. Uh, they do not have to retreat if they decide, I think, to... Uh, hold on, I think it's what the fortress... I think they're okay. It's Yeah, it's the fortresses that um, you, ha you have to decide whether or not you're going to use the terrain uh, to your advantage. Uh, then you're not in the fortress kind of thing. I think they still get to use this. Um, so I don't need to... Who's ever here, let's say there's two strength points worth of hits uh, to force a retreat uh, for the Russians. Remember, it's one third. Uh, it wouldn't matter. So if they have, uh, let's say, two strength points sitting here, then it would, uh, the Germans need to uh, inflict two hits, as far as I know. Uh, well, I'll take a look at the rules uh, to force a hit. That being said, as far as I'm concerned, and the Germans are concerned, and the high command are concerned, and everybody else is concerned, um, this is a foregone conclusion. This is going to be, um, uh, Kielce will be taken, uh, before, uh, well, before the 18th of, uh, November, because we're in the 14th to the 17th right now. So before, um, the, you know, you know, the, the tail end of November, uh, Kielce will be taken. Like I was already in my mind, um, as I was saying, I'm going to be doing a, like a, just a front page newspaper thing, um, for next week. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this, to me, is going to be a foregone conclusion. It's going to be, it's going to happen this time. I mean, my God, I've got twenty strength points sitting there. Uh, you know, uh, whatever. Now, like I said, I've, I didn't put the counters down because when I took a look at it, I went, "Oh my God." Anton von Salza of the Russian Fourth Army, you son of a bee. That's all I got to know. I don't know if they're going to get away with it. And in an ironic way, I feel like I am getting away with something because I recreated. Uh, th these guys I don't think exist in real life uh, or ever did historically. But uh, they're the Russian 150th Infantry Division. And they were made because I was doing the... Uh, like my version of uh, funky recombination and whatnot, and I was looking at uh, whatever. Anyways, I'm going to remove the church for now so I can show you what's there. I hope to God I don't uh, knock it over because there's lots of stuff there. And when I saw that, I went, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Oh, well, I said a lot of other things uh, before I hit the video, I can, or started playing the video. I can tell you that much. You son of a bitch. Anyways, uh, and, well, congratulations. That's all I got to say. It doesn't mean it's going to happen, but holy cow, are you ever making a stand at Kielce? Holy jeepers jumping. So they've got the 10th Corps there sitting as well. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter right now. I'm not going to look up. It doesn't matter. He's got no uh, supply points. So Von Saltz has got three supply points sitting there. So they could maybe punch me in the nose a little bit. 
uh, the Germans here, and they've also got four strength points. Let's go take a look at the rules. As far as I know, the Germans need to inflict four hits to force a retreat by uh, the Russians, and I don't know if the Russians really want to do it. Uh, this is the irony, and I'm not flipping kidding me, um, or kidding you, or whatever the hell. Uh, I did want to make a, an attack here with the third core here. Oh, shoot. Oh, darn. Bernardi. Uh, that's his name. Bernardi. That's right. Uh, Eberhardt's over there. Uh, third core. Uh, fourth core. Um, I was going to make an attack here, but I was like, uh, I rolled 50-50. Because uh, he was not supposed to. He's only supposed to... Um, 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 Secure the rail line, which he did, and then prepare for an attack on Ranham. And I was thinking, you know what, dude? You should actually nail this mother. Uh, uh, well, shoot, mother didn't want to nail. Was it this mother? Was it the mother here? Hold on here. Was it that one? No, I think. Mm, hold on here. It would have been two. So would, no, it would have been this guy. So I was going to nail him. Uh, because I was like, okay, I'm going to uh, start really causing a lot of flipping grief. But I rolled 50-50. didn't happen. So what I did was I ended up splitting whoever number uh, uh, 8 was because they were over here, or 83. Anyways, I split them up. Oh, no, it would have been over here. So, yeah, okay, sorry. would have been number 11. I would have nailed. That's right. I, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm one over here. So it would have been 83. 83 was over here. I moved them over to, uh, over to here and then split them up to 32. It doesn't really matter. I'm just... Tell me what's going on because we're going back to uh, Kielce. Here we go. Holy F. You son of a... Uh, anyways, I'm just going to tell you who's um, uh, going up against whatever. I was just absolutely... A f I'm just like, well done, man. Uh, well done. Remember, he from the get-go uh, avoided all the combats. I mean, his initial thing was to go against Krakow. And I was like, okay, I can do it, but I'll do it my way. And he followed the flipping river all the way down here. I went, oops. And then, you know, still alive, man. He's still um, still alive. All right. So we've got uh, on, over on here, number 42. That's the only thing here. Um, it's amazing, eh? 80 kilometers away through foreign ter territory in the middle of winter. And I'm able to fully supply an attack on the town. Pretty swift. Oh, that's the way it goes. Uh, 37th Infantry Division. Um... The uh, Pomeresh, I don't know what the heck they're, uh, whatever, Reserve Infantry Regiment Number 2. They're from the 5th Reserve Brigade and the 3rd Reserve Infantry Division. And there's also the, well, both of these guys are from the 3rd Reserve Infantry Division, the uh, two regiments I'm about to mention. And the second one is the uh, Pomeresh or whatever, Reserve Infantry Regiment Number 93. But he's from the, or they're from the 6th Reserve Brigade. There's also the 3rd Guards Infantry Division, and the 3rd, so this will be the first time, oh shit, my uh, camcorder camera went off. How the hell did that happen? Is it the battery that died, or is there something wacky going on? Hold on, I'm going to turn this off. Thank God I still have the, e, uh, the whatever, is it the, it's just whacked. It must be the, it must be the battery. Because, um, I just deleted all kinds of information off the thing. That should be okay that way. Hold on here. Oh, shoot. That's not a good sign, though, that if it's the Sony battery. Because, uh, eesh. hold on here. I just, I could have sworn I just uh, popped that little sucker in. But let me see. I'm going to swap batteries. I don't want to swap this. Mind you, my stomach's acting a bit odd, so maybe I should. But we'll see what happens. All right. All right. Yeah, this is just turning out to be a, a dis oops, disaster of a... Uh, I can feel the camcorder about the tip over too. <laughs> you complete tit. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Um, okay. There we go. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, now. Are you going to work or not? That was scary, man. I sworn I had tons of battery life. Or maybe did I not hit the record button? That's probably what it is. It's per flipping usual and the moron. Um, well, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Yeah, this is turning out to be a disaster of nightmarish proportions. All right. And I'm not going through the whole goddamn thing. So, you know, welcome to my goddamn whatevers. Um, yeah, so here we go. 
Uh, what else? Yeah, this will be the first time um, a Fistung Infantry Division um, is in combat, like an actual garrison um, unit. Uh, wasn't it? Well, I was. I should actually expect that the German ones are doing it. It was, uh, I think, more the Austro-Hungarian ones, the um, Hotzendorf divisions. I think I'm just going to be using them mostly for um, uh, reserve or, you know, like the defensive, uh, if the Russians want to try some kind of weird thing to try to sneak around. But, I mean, it's getting so late in the day, uh, uh, um, like close to the, the December truce, it's not funny. And I'll be honest with you, I can't flip and wait to talk about um, more of the grand strategy stuff already. I'm already trying to think about it's weird. There's sometimes I'm also thinking about like ways of trying to end the war early for some people. Um, you know, I, I look over here and I'm like, well, it, unfortunately, if the Russians maybe were doing worse off uh, in uh, East Prussia, there may be a better chance they may want to sue for peace, but not right now. Um, not even with the reinforcements coming because they, you know, dismantled the, the Caucasus army. Um, due to the fact of the non-aggression pact with the Ottomans and so on and so forth. And, oh my God, and I've just been trying to figure out like about the Brits and about the super long, um, the super long game they want to do that way. And they certainly do not want to commit any, uh, like a, any long-term commitment in uh, the Western Europe conflict zone. They just do not want to put a ton of troops in Europe, man. They just don't want to do it. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the way I'm, I'm playing the Brits, they're just like, um, look, we'll do what we can with Belgium and, and, you know, we'll put in a few bits here and there, but, uh, you know, we'll extend the front a little bit for you, but uh, you're on your own, France. Um, I'm not saying they're going to say that to France, for Christ's sakes, but um, um, I, I'm, I'm just saying they're thinking that way. Like I said, they're, they're, uh, the way I'm playing them, they're hyper-aggressive, greedy little buggers and uh, want to um, think long-term project-wise. And um, one way is to uh, consolidate their economic and, um, well, they want, they want to control the, uh, the world forever and ever, amen, kind of thing. That's the way I, I'm viewing it. So um, sorry if you, you don't like the way of, um, you know, look, I'm not anti this, that, or the other thing. I'm just doing, I'm just doing my thing. I'm just um, I'm viewing things and going with it. So, um, such is life. Trust me, man. I just finished flipping, like I said, watching the Peter, uh, Peter the Great there, Peter the First there of Serbia, and it's like monstrously, obviously pro-Serbian, and so on. So not over, over the top. But I'll tell you one thing: they certainly don't mention any of the forced marches of the Austrian prisoners of war across the Albanian, Albanian mountains, do they? I mean, towards the Albanian coast, they don't mention any of that. The massive amount of dead. You know, that type of stuff. They don't show that in the movie, of course. I mean, I mean, you know, they'd be, you know, you need your head ready. Um, but like I said, that, that happened. So, like, where are you, you know, where are you going to go? Like I said, well, I'm just using that. I'm trying to justify the fact that I'm not, like, you know, like I said, I'm not trying to be pro or negative or whatever. All right, here we go. Is this the flipping camcorder working? Yes, it is. All right, okay. Okay, so now you saw what I'm seeing, and uh, who are they going up against? Well, I just told you Anton von Saltz uh, with three supply points, so he can maybe hit them a little bit. He's got nothing left. To... What do you got left, man? The 150th Infantry Division. Hopefully, you can see all. Well, you can see it over on the overhead. I just wanted you to kind of see the specifics. Yeah, and of course, you're not going to. Uh, well, I try to bridge it. Am I going to do any of one, of one of those things? Maybe I'll do some kind of mini. Playlist thing, the Jake. Can you see that crazy ass? Uh, oh, no, let's zoom out a little bit. You can see it on the overhead, but you probably there. You see that little green arrow? Those are some leftover uh, Fistung infantry divisions that just got created last turn or whatever. But they're ready to go, and um, I'm sending them off towards Eighth Army to uh, start making a push um, uh, towards the south end of Warsaw to consolidate that because uh, I want to uh, see what. Uh, what we can do for, um, yeah, things are just not looking good, are they? All right, so uh, I'll just zoom in a little bit more, but maybe not too much more, because I think you can, you don't need to see whatever. I'm sorry if I'm a whatever. There we go. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right, we're right there. All right, you can see that pretty good. 
Okay, let me go take a look at the rules. And like I said, I thought this was going to be a four. foregone conclusion, and it obviously isn't. Four strength points, you mother. Oh my god, the first page I grab is retreat. Awesome. In order to reduce losses, defender blah blah blah. Yeah. Well, like I go blah blah blah. It's like, well, you just stop. You don't even know half the flipping rules. Ground combat units in the same hex as a fortress are never forced to retreat. However, such units may do so if the defender wishes. Units are never requ required to retreat from a hex that contains a city or a port, or if urban terrain is chosen by the defender to influence the combat. What the hell does that mean? Units are never required to retreat from a hex that contains a city. What, they just stay there and die? Was that what you're telling me? Hold on here. All ground combat units in a hex under attack are required to retreat if the result of the attack would require the defender to eliminate the number of strength points equal to at least half the strength point total. But they're Russians, so that's one third. Uh, and unadjusted for supply or train of all units in the hex. There are two exceptions to this. All right, so I want to hear this because if this is the case, they may stay there. That's great. I've also been trying to think of like all the refugees that have been just like trying to get the hell out of there as well as ride them in the past few weeks. And of course, now it's like last chance garage, man. You better move your butt. This is not good unless you unless you want to start learning German, man. Which I should because I just pause up uh, about the post in about uh, 35 minutes or whatever. Um, a German U-boat thing about uh, and I do want to read actually the English um uh, uh, transcript again or translation or whatever the heck um, yeah because I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty pro uh, <laughs> pretty pro you boat I'm sorry to say not um, like uh, well the, it's the fear of them I, I, I just like I'm just uh, I'm starting to clue in about morale and and all that stuff and and terror and whatnot um, yeah you gotta play on people's minds man all right, so where do we go here? Units are never required to retreat from a hex that contains a city, the city center, not just an urban hex site, or a port, or if urban terrain is chosen by, or if urban terrain is chosen by the defender. And it doesn't say anything after that. So if I, if I want, I can stay there forever. All right. Holy F. Love you, Duke. Let's try this out. Now I've got to look at the bloody terrain effects. Because I am, um, I say I don't have to post this goddamn thing, but how the hell do I do that with the rolls? Because I'm not used to doing that. I would have to then um, say, okay, I rolled it anyways or something. Because, yeah, I'm not, uh, that's weird. Um, I wouldn't, like, roll and then uh, abort. And re like, uh, the only time I would roll and abort is if, like, you know, the, the die fell off the table or something weird. Um Shit, man, are you effing kidding me? Oh my god, I didn't realize. Man, you know what? Maybe I should read more often for Christ's effing sakes. Um, so it says here, urban. And as far as I know, uh, combat effects on attacks, and I'm in an urban thing. It says, ah, oh, shoots and ladders, man. Have the attacker strength. Why don't I not look at these things ahead of time? Oh my god, man. I'll try to zoom out. Lord of mercy. So, ha! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sorry if I, oh brother. This sucks, man. Oh, well, well no, it's a good sucks because I'm, I'm learning, but not in a good way. Well, actually, no. You know what's weird? Before I actually was even doing this, I was feeling so bad because like I, I think I mentioned it before. I am, and like I said, I'm not pro whatever. But I'm so used to doing, um, here, I'll zoom out again. Uh, I'm so used to being the Russian player uh, in World War One and whatnot. I do, a, as far as I know, I, a pretty darn good job. And I've been doing horrible in this. And uh, I'm like, God, I just feel like, like I should be like trying to, you know, almost like I got to overcompensate or something. Okay. So let's see if I get this right. As far as I know, I hope by God I do this right. Um, so urban is half. Oh my god, and they're going to get plus three to the die roll. Youch. Alright, well 
that's the way it works. <laughs> oh my god. So they're never forced to retreat. And they don't have to worry about the 4, 3, 2, 1 or any of that crazy nonsense. Um, <laughs> just, this is just beyond, <laughs> beyond crazy, man. Oh my god, I went from 20 to 10 and I thought I was a smart little bunny looking at the combat results table. I don't know if you can see this. I was looking going, oh gosh, Chris, see? Bringing that for stung division from six and making you go from 16 to 20. Aren't you a smart little bunny? No, well, it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, and that's a lot of supply points. Holy. I hope I'm getting these rules right. because As far as I know, I am. i got to post this even though I'm acting like a total dork tough. Um, yeah, I'm going to do some crazy ass stuff tomorrow too. Um, like normal, um, uh, normal human being stuff. All right, so here we go. Uh, so it's half. <laughs> oh my god. All right, here we go. So I get the roll. Bloody F. Let's see, where do we put it? Doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, sweet Jesus. Well, killed son, and here I was already, uh, like, stopped the presses, I guess I could say. All right, here we go. And it's a three. So what do you do with a three out of ten? <laughs> Probably not a hell of a lot. Nope, one hit. Sweet Jesus jumping. All right. I'm going to write this down. What a joke. This is just beyond joke. Land or something, I don't know. All right, hold on here. So, Germans with all their amazing firepower, unless I uh, don't understand how to do this, which is a very good chance. So people have said, why don't you just play the rules? Maybe you wouldn't have these issues. That's not what I'm here for, man. That's not what I'm here for. Wow, Kels is going to stay. What the hell? So maybe we should have freaking made that attack uh, north, like just southwest of Radom. Well, 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 another wrinkle. Well, okay. So I just did that, and I've got four strength points, and that'll cost um one strength point um oh, sorry one supply point for the russians if they want to do it and you're darn right they're going to do it so we're going to pop you to two so i can do you officially hold on i gotta go get the thing wow man <laughs> holy shit well i'm glad i did this i wasn't expecting this I seriously, uh, and I hope to God, like, I'm just, I uh, hear people like me, Andrew, Mike, will go and run to the rules and say, no, you got that wrong, man, you got that wrong. Or, no, yeah, you got that right, kind of, or something. Just, uh, all right, where do I put you? Mr. Von Salsa. Oh, the right you're going, man, you're going to be taking over a hell of a lot more than just the Fourth Army, I can say that much. Jesus. All right, so uh, now we've got four, and it's a plus three to the die roll, as far as I know. All right, so here we go. And it's a four, so a seven, and do they have sevens? Yep. And a seven on a four is two hits. Let me see that. All right, oops, sorry, guys. Zoom out. Oh God, this must be a butcher and a half. Well, actually, I would say, mo you know what? I would say maybe most of my videos should be maybe audio, audio only. That's the way to play uh, or watch them. Holy crap! All right, so I've got to reduce um, two hits off of this. I might as well do that now, so I'll remember, and then I'll just put the little. Well, well, well. This is not going to go as easy as as I expected. And I'm just going to say this, um, if this is the case, boy, there's a whole other universe of um, combat and logistical issues for me to wait or, uh, 
to worry about when people start getting into some uh, really entrenched areas and whatnot. And uh, there's so much more for me to explore. It's not funny. Um, okay, so I gotta go down to 18, and I'll figure out who gets uh, who gets knocked. I am just absolutely flabbergasted. I thought for sure I was gonna have to figure out who was going to be advancing there, and this was just going to be a bloody walk in the park. I really did. I really did. And look, I even saw the number 42, and I used the number 42 on the Belgian plane upstairs, and a little nod to Douglas Adams and the whole nine yards, and thought I was being, like I said, a big smart bunny, getting, moving 20 strength points over, and this, that, and the other thing, and then, nope, I got out, um, out foxed. Put this guy here. Oh my God! And I, you know, might as well because it's probably going to be a long time until it happens, or if it ever does happen. So this, I don't know if you're going. Well, you're going to see it on the little dude. That's a, another 3D printed church that I was doing as a test print. Uh, well, for a meandering mic actually, and I don't know if you can. Well, you'll see it on the little guy, but I'm not looking at the little. Hold on here. Yeah, you can see it. And I painted it Prussian blue this weekend. Uh, one of the steeple. Bit, and I thought for 100% sure it was going to be um, a place there and the Germans were going to be, you know, drinking beer there and doing all kinds of crazy ass stuff. Oh my God, I had so many little uh, narratives and that's not happening. All right, so that's the end of that. Okay, did not, like I said, I did not see that coming um, for a country mile. Awesome. Awesome is, yeah, beyond awesome. It's freaking fantastic and I'll just zoom out a little bit and maybe yeah that's it all right and this must be brutal okay see you later oh shit I still got the other camera the other one going on there hey puss Jesus H Murphy all right turn that one off too hold on